Carpenters ply their trade in Kinshasa, but this is no ordinary workshop. Everyone here is part of an association called Work to Live, and if they didn't set up shop right here in the street every day, they'd be destitute. I refuse to beg. I prefer to feed my children by working here freely and with sweat on my brow. It's a tough job, nine hours a day with no shade. Even tougher when you consider that everyone in this collective has some form of disability. There are eight million disabled people in the Congo, and with no state support, there's no choice but to work. Some financial provision should be made for them. They're all just abandoned. If they had the money, they would create really nice works of art. But with a bit of ingenuity, they do just fine. Wardrobes, beds and bookshelves all come with a personal touch, making each finished piece something special. We've asked them to make us some furniture. My husband hesitated when he saw their condition, but was pleasantly surprised to see the wardrobe they made. But a satisfied customer does not always come back for more. The craftsmen have no fixed address, meaning it's often hard to find them again. Even after 15 years, their association is struggling to build a permanent place for itself.